Hi, this is Mrs. Kozma, your librarian, and I'm here to tell you about National Library Week. This year, National Library Week takes place between April 8th and April 12th. We will be celebrating in the Temporary Library in T109, but we have a lot of fun and exciting activities planned for you. Next year, we'll be back in our original space in M101. That's where you've seen all of that construction going on. I want you to stay with me throughout the end of this presentation because I'm going to unveil what your new library is going to look like. So you're going to be able to see the furniture and all the new spaces that are going to be available to you. And I hope that you are excited about it as I am. Okay, without further ado, let's take a look at National Library Week 2024. This year's theme for National Library Week is Books Are Better From a Lounge Chair. Let's get to the fun part first. We have seven different areas for photo opportunities for students and staff located in T109, the temporary library. For our first photo op, we have the Tiki Time Reading Hut. For our second photo op, we have the pink lounge chairs that my poor dad spent all of last summer painting and getting ready, but don't they make nice props? For our third photo op, we have the pink palm backdrop. For our fourth and fifth photo ops, we have the Barbie box, the Woody wagon, and the Tiki totem. For our sixth photo op, we have 95 flamingos, that's right, 95. And for our seventh photo op, we have the traditional backdrop stating our library theme, books are better from a lounge chair. And as you can see, we have many different types of photo opportunities. And if you go ahead and take advantage of these, you can actually use them to win prizes during National Library Week. So. Let's talk about National Library Week. What's it all about? It was first sponsored in 1958. It's a national observance sponsored by the American Library Association and libraries across the country each April. It's a time to celebrate the contributions of our nation's libraries and to promote library use and support. And we can always make that fun. All types of libraries, school, public, academic, and special participate. During National Library Week and throughout the month of April, libraries host special events to highlight the unique role libraries play in people's lives. So what's our plan? Well, like I said, 95 flamingos in the library. The library is currently draped in all shades of pink and green. For this year's theme, we're going back in time to Palm Springs during the 50s and 60s when mid-century modern living was having its heyday. Think mid-century modern homes like those designed by Frank Lloyd Wright, atomic cats, tiki parties, fondue, flamingos, beach towels, sunglasses, and palm trees. Palm Springs is known for its mid-century modern architecture and chic vacationing scene. So what better slogan for our theme than, books are better from a lounge chair, hit the books while you hit the pool. In the library, you can also take what would be a two and a half hour drive in real life over to Malibu to visit the ultimate surfer girl and California icon, Malibu Barbie. Surf the imaginary waves while you pose for a photo in Malibu Barbie's box next to the woody wagon, complete with surfboard, beach ball, and palm tree. Our theme wouldn't be complete without our cheeky time reading hut. In the 50s, themes were the thing. Mid-century partiers were mad for Hawaiian-style parties and everything tiki. The library is full of kitschy decor and posters to set this retro mood. For the first time, and the last time ever, students will be able to drink red Hawaiian punch, complete with umbrellas and flamingo straws in the library. That's never going to happen in the new library. Students and staff can also pose in the Tiki Time Reading Hut for photo ops. I'd also like to highlight the music and the books that were popular during this era. So if you stop by during National Library Week, you will hear me playing different playlists that depict the sounds of this iconic era. And I've also created two reading lists for us. One 
are just fun summer reads, and the other is books about mid-century modern. So if I click on fun summer reads, it just takes you to Destiny. You can actually find this collection even without using this PowerPoint. And if we go over to our mid-century modern reads, there they are. And one thing we sort of learned as we went through the year, though, in the library, that all of our nonfiction books like these right here are in storage, so unfortunately we can't get to those right now. So picture it. It's a retro Palm Springs kind of vibe. The library's new look actually has names like Mid-Century Modern, Atomic Age, Atomic Living, and Googie Architecture. Side note, I am in love with the Atomic Cat. If you've ever watched one of the following movies or TV shows, you've seen the Mid-Century Modern aesthetic. Mad Men, Lessons in Chemistry, Outlander, Bates Motel, Don't Worry Darling, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, The Jetsons, I Dream of Jeannie, Bewitched, Breakfast at Tiffany's, and The Grand graduate, and so many more. It's the architecture, the art, the literature, the shows, the clothing, it's everything. I'm not going to go into these slides in detail, but here's a glimpse of mid-century modern. I really love this sunken living room over here. Googie architecture, you might actually recognize some of these things. If you've ever caught the Jetsons on Cartoon Network, there it is old school McDonald's, and of course the iconic Las Vegas sign. And those are all considered Googie architecture. Atomic Living. Again, I'm obsessed with the furniture. Does this chair not look fun? And this living room over here, if you'd like to find out more about it, stop on down at the library and I can give you some more information. Okay, now the important part, how do we celebrate? National Library Week is April 8th through 12th, and of course we're going to have a Spirit Week. On Monday, April 8th, it is Cuddle Up and Read Day. Wear your comfy clothes or your pajamas. A couple of the staff members here, we already have our Flamingo pajamas ready. On Tuesday, it is Sunglasses Day because it is sunny in Palm Springs. On Wednesday, April 10th, it is Pink Day because the library is draped in pink with 95 pink flamingos. And on Thursday, April 11th, that is Tourist Vacation Resort Wear, dress as if you're on vacation. And Friday, since this week is all about reading, Friday is Read My Shirt Day, but make sure you do keep it school appropriate. So how can you enter to win $50 to Amazon? You have three ways that you can win. You can participate in Spirit Week. Dress up for Spirit Week. You stop by the library in T109 and drop your name into the ballot box each day you dress. This applies to staff and students. So you can actually earn five entries during the week of National Library Week just for dressing up for Spirit Week. Another way you can enter is by posting video reviews. Post a video of yourself giving a book review of a book you've read. Show Mrs. Kozma and you've earned an entry. And the final way, caught reading, get your selfie out there. Post pics of yourself reading during the weeks leading up to National Library Week. It could be pictures here in the library with our different photo ops, or it could be where you normally read, whichever you choose. Show me, and you've earned another entry. So as soon as you show me, you can just write your name on the piece of paper and drop in another ballot. And you could also um, earn up to at least five entries just posting selfies of yourself reading. Okay, I have lots of giveaways for you guys during this week. I have flamingo stickers, summer stickers, tiny flamingo ducks, um, scratch and sniff bookmarks, flamingo paper clips, flamingo candy, and possibly tropical poolside refreshments. As you guys know, I can't fit a full classroom in here anymore, but I can fit classes that are 20 um, or less. And so if your class signs up to visit the library during National Library Week, your class actually might get treated to some of the refreshing poolside beverages. And our drink menu is as follows. Poolside Punch, Flamingolada, Tiki Punch, Blue Hawaiian, 
the Parker Palm Springs Lemonade Stand Lemonade, which is very famous in Palm Springs, and the iconic Arnold Palmer. Prizes. You'll win a beach pail full of prizes. That includes a $50 Amazon gift card, beach towels, crystals, a crystal and silver bookmark that you can swap out if you see a different one. I have about 20 of them. Poolside cooling spray, hand sanitizer, sage, and much more. Here are some close-ups. Like I said, I have many of these to choose from. And again, since this week is all about reading, let's take a look at some reading statistics. So who is reading the most? Freshmen, you have 317 books checked out right now. Juniors, you have 245. Seniors, 146. And sophomores, 132. That means freshmen for the win. Round of applause for the freshmen. Good job, freshmen. The top five books of this school year are number one, The Summer I Turn Pretty by Jenny Han. Um, I loved the show on the various streaming services, so I highly recommend if you liked those two, please read the book. Number two, The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. Number three, Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens, one of my all-time favorites. Confess by Colleen Hoover. And number five, Verity by Colleen Hoover. And not everyone knew I was going to do this, but yes, I have been keeping track of how many books you've checked out over the year, and I wanted to honor our top five patrons of the school year. So coming in first, checking out the most library books, Cypress McIntosh. Second, Josie Sanders. Third, Shelby Bolt. Fourth, Sharon Bright. And fifth, Elena Gladkowski. I'll be emailing you guys soon to let you know that I do have a little something for you guys too. I'd also think that these five patrons deserve a round of applause. Congratulations, guys. Keep that up, keep up that reading. Another statistic, the library has circulated 1,117 books so far this year. And today's date is March 12th, and I sort of stopped it here, but I think this is a really great number since most of our collection was actually put into storage. So I think we did a good job. So let's take a look at the most exciting part, which is the next chapter. This is what your new library is going to look like. Your new library will be back in M101, where you see all that construction going on. You can see we have some really cool furniture some of these S couches with little side tables and my favorite, the egg chairs that actually sort of remind me of a retro egg chair from the 60s. I have lots of bookshelves to fill up with our books. We have some portable whiteboards as well. Here is this from a different angle. Here is my office, and right side of my office, we have a nice space that I view classes having conversations in because it's sort of like in the round, plus all of our furniture is flexible, and we can change the furniture as we see fit to meet our needs. Here's our more traditional section. So if you need a table to work at, your teacher might sign up for this section of the library. And here are some more bookshelves for Mrs. Kozma to fill up with books. This is actually the interior of the four breakout rooms that are going to be available to staff and students. You might use this room uh, for small group collaboration on a project. You can flash your project up on the screen. You might use this room alone to record something. Staff members might hold department meetings in them 
or training sessions, the possibilities are endless. So this is an overview of everything. So if I kind of just go through it kind of quickly, we do still have the creation station. And then if we go over here, here are the main doors. Here's our S couch and our egg chairs, our bookshelves. Here are your four breakout rooms. Over here is our setting that had the more traditional type furniture with tables. Here is that section that I like because I feel like it leads itself to discussion. Here is my office and behind the, my office is the teacher and staff workroom. And that is what our new library is going to look like. It's pretty exciting. I want to end with one of my favorite quotes. There is no such thing as a child who hates to read. There are only children who have not found the right book. So what better time than National Library Week for you to come down and visit me in T109 and let me help you find that right book that will turn you into a reader. Okay, I hope to see all of you guys during National Library Week. Bye. Hi. I'm Mrs. Kozma, and this is Zoe, and we're here to tell you about National Library Week. Yeah!